supposed to do next, but um, let's talk about uh, small pupil. Because that's something that you are faced with in your current practice, I'm sure, very, very often. So, the causes of small pupil, we all know that. PXF, diabetes, old age, myoptics, and IFIS. Well, there is quite a lot of evidence having a small pupil make the cataract surgery more difficult and higher risk of complication. Why? Because you don't see, you need to manipulate the iris, etc., etc. So, how do you deal with that? Well, there are some basic things. I would always inject some phenylephrine, and I've got midrain available. I'm sure it's available in Greece as well. And also viscodilatation. Sphincterotomies, thing of the past. But pupil stretching can still be quite useful. IFIS. I don't think there is much to spend there. The thing to remember is that even if you stop the um, drugs for the prostate, there won't be much of a difference. So no point in causing urinary problem with our patients. Just explain that there are more risks, but you know how to deal with that and get going. PXF is a completely different beast because there's not only a small pupil, but also sometimes hard cataract and weak zonula. So you really need to be very, very careful. But um, let me show you different ways that you can deal with pupil. This is a really complex case because it's post-emergency um, um, graft surgery after a perforation, and you can see that the pupil is completely stuck. So here we are separating all the synechia, and the first thing that I try to do is a little bit of stretching. So that's the way that you do stretching. You basically uh, tear apart the iris, and you gain a little bit of an enlargement. In a simple cataract, that would be enough, but here I'm dealing with a quite complex cataract, so I'm not happy. I want to keep it super safe, and in this case, I just go for the simplest thing, which is the iris hooks. One trick about the hooks is um, uh, the way to put them in is take them all out of the box, and then do one incision, one hook. Second incision, second hook. Test incision, third hook, but don't hook them to the iris just yet. Wait until they are all into the chamber, then shallow, the anterior chamber, and then will be really easy to hook the um, iris. And I quite like the five hook technique, where one of the hooks is really under the sorry the um, wound in such a way that you don't get any problem. Small pupil expander device. Uh, oops, there we go. So that's how not to do it. This was inserting an eye ring, and. Um, be very careful with the eye ring, especially in a patient with a shallow anterior chamber, because it's quite thick, and during the phaco, it will keep on hitting the cornea. So whilst it makes the phaco easy, then you end up with corneal decompensation. And um, the issue here with these rings is that you do stretch the pupil the opposite side quite a lot. Look at this, for instance. Okay? So they do work, but I think you have to be very, very careful. And... Uh, when you put them in, use the correct instrument, they can get stuck in it, and the, be careful. And now this is actually my favorite ring, which is the Malugin ring, because it's much thinner than the eye ring. Um, and if you do it carefully, you can try to catch the iris in the little groove as you insert it, like we are doing in this case, which is a much better way to put it in compared with the um, what you saw me doing with the eye ring. But still, you know, the last bit you have to insert uh, manually. And perhaps the thing to do that I've learned, and I'm not able to show that, is use two instruments to avoid stretching of the iris, because sometimes it can bleed from the root of the iris. And this is just uh, very simply how to remove the ring, which is, again, Pretty straightforward. You put the same instrument in, and the ring comes out. My personal advice would be use the hooks in the most complex and complicated cases because they will give you an edge. But in straightforward cases, when the cutter is not too difficult, then the ring is quicker, is surgical a little bit easier to implant, and uh, makes your surgery faster. And then you can just uh, insert the uh, same device that you introduced the ring in and just load it inside and uh, pull it out very, very quickly. Um, so really, with the um, small pupil, just be careful, identify the cause, and use the technique that are available nowadays to enlarge the pupil from stretching, which can be useful, to the hooks, to the different rings. 
Like I said, I'm always a little bit worried with the eye ring because it's thick, measure the AC depth. If your patient is hyperopic, avoid it. The Malugin ring is easier because it's thinner. Now, So, Very, uh, are you ready with the femto or...? Uh, yes, I can okay. do the femto.